Hi guys, I know I've been doing a lot of tarantula vids, but I wanted to do something different tonight. This is Zoe, and she's my best friend, but she's only my co-star. Tonight we're going to do a video on alligating, alligator snapping turtles. Uh, scientific name is Macroclemus or Macrocalus tamenkai. They're one of the largest freshwater turtles in the world, and they're just awesome. So, of course, who has one? This girl. So this is my alligator snapping turtle. Uh, you can see it's got a nice chomper on it there. Uh, these turtles are known for their big heads. Um, they're sh nice thick shells with the armor plating on them. And um, I've got, they've got these cool spikes on their tails. And, uh, you know, they are aquatic. They've got cute little webbed feet. So these suckers have a nasty bite on them, and you can see it's got that, um, on its tongue, it's got that pink worm looking, it looks like a, uh, a little worm. They actually use that as a lure in water, and they actually attract fish to swim right into their mouths. And the thing, I think they have like these little eyelashes too, and so I know they look all big and beastly, but I actually think they're cute. So these animals are found in southeastern U.S. waters and um, you can find them all the way from Texas to Tennessee. Um, I think they're cool. They come in gray, black, brown, or olive green, although they're often covered in moss. So typically when you find them, they will look green despite their color. There are a few color phases. Some of the babies are red or a few are leucistic like my girl that I've got here. She's 14 years old. We got her from John Richards in 1998 from turtleman.com. And I actually have was one of his DVDs that's pretty out uh, pretty old, but I still watch it. It's a good one. It's really cool. It shows his little turtle ranch and it's really awesome and his farm is still going strong, so I highly recommend him. And um, yeah, you're so mean and tough. And um Please don't comment and say that I'm being mean and teasing it because I don't want it to bite its leg. So, so uh, these animals are opportunistic feeders. They are mostly carnivorous. They rely on, um, they hunt and also scavenge. So they eat um, fish, carrion, mollusks, plants, other turtles, birds, fish, pretty much anything they can find. The majority of this one's diet is catfish, pellets, fish, and um, it's kind of my garbage disposal. Sometimes I'll give it a mouse that somebody didn't want or something like that. And, you know, as long as it's not too old and yucky. But anyway, um, it takes them about 12 years to reach maturity. And they're not necessarily aggressive but they will bite if they feel threatened and that bite can take, uh, you know, can amputate a finger. So I am careful, I know I'm sitting here playing with it, but I am careful with this animal and they are fast. They are really fast, especially when they're in the water. So um, because these animals have been harvested for their meat uh, and on top of that with all the habitat destru uh, yeah, destruction, their natural habitat, they have been endangered in some areas. Um, they're not generally endangered. They're only considered a threatened species and are now protected by CITES 3. So um, exportation is limited and they're even banned in certain states like California. So anyway, um, that is the alligator snapper. Brooke Brunson, I know you don't like the leucistic alligator snapper, but I do. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.